before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Waha, Wachachodash, Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his only true name is Yahweh Shai. Giving double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, who rule well, teach well, because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the hopeful elect. And shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And uh, pretty much, I was on uh, Big Bro uh, Yahweh Shai Zion's uh, live. And this individual named Damon Logan, he commented on there and basically he sent a, a, a comment on a comment board on a live telling the brother Kassad that um, Hawashai Zion, because he said the brother to the right, he was talking about Hawashai Zion saying that Hawashai Zion is not an Israelite, that he's a heathen. And he then he, uh, you know, I said on a comment board and I told him, I said, Logan, stop being a demon, be quiet, listen. Or get blocked. So he waits till the ending of the lesson. And he's going to say this. Are you at least a so-called black? So he's ta he's asking me if I'm a so-called if I'm a so-called black. And he says, by the way, of both parents, you're going off. So this lesson is going to be touted as both parents does not have to determine that you're an Israelite. Both parents does not have to determine that you're an Israelite. You got Jake's out there with this type of doctrine. They teach that your mother and your father, for you to be an Israelite, your mother and your father have to be an Israelite. That is inaccurate. Because now that you did that, I'm going to rip you up. And those of you that teach the same doctrine as y'all, you're going to get ripped up. You Israelites out there that's teaching that your mother and father have to be an Israelite for you to be an Israelite is fucking going off. We're going to rip you up with the scriptures because I know you guys read the Old Testament. So there's a lot of scriptures in the Old Testament. You guys out there, that's just Old Testament, because I believe he probably an Old Testament Israelite. So you Jakes out there that's teaching that type of doctrine, you're going to get ripped up with it. Because your doctrine that you're teaching is false doctrine. And all through the Old Testament, you had Israelite men that had wives that were heathen nations. And we're going to prove that. So he's teaching that. He's asking me, because he know I'm a Gadite. Because you got Israelites out there that teach that Israelites are only Negro descent. And that's inaccurate according to the scriptures. It says, are you at least a, he said, are you at least so-called black? I'm not black. We understand. See, this is how we know you a novice or you're just learning. There's no such thing as black people. There's no such thing as white people. The Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, we are different shades of brown. Stop putting the word black out there. We're not black. It says, by the way, of both parents, no. No, 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 no. You're fucking going off. You're going off. You're going off. You're going off. If so, can we at least discuss it before you go go against a fellow Yasharalite over a potential heathen? How do you know that he's a heathen? How do you know that he's a heathen? How do you know? And this is the problem. You Jakes is going off out there. How do you know that I'm a heathen? Or how do you know that Big Bro Hoshai Zion is a heathen? You dudes is going off. I can give an email. We don't need your damn email. We don't need your damn email. Stop being bugged out. Follow one group, which is Great Millstone. Stop following all these damn other groups. You're going to be bugged out. Now let's get some scriptures out. So lock you for the rambling. We're going to prove in the scriptures that you had Israelite men, prophets of the Lord, that had women that were of the other nations. So let's prove that. All right. We're going to start with Moses. Now Moses, what? Moses was an Israelite, right? This is Exodus 2 and 21. It says that Moses was content to dwell with the man and he gave Moses Zephyr, talking about his father-in-law. Moses' father-in-law was a Cushite. He was not an Israelite. His father-in-law was a, was a Cushite. And it says, and he gave Moses Zephyr, his daughter. Zephyr was not an Israelite. She was a Cushite. She was a Hamite. All right. She was a Hamite. It says, and she bared him a son, and he called his name Gershom. So Moses had a son with a Hamite. Yeah, his Moses' wife was a Hamite. She was not an Israelite. And she bared him Gershom. 
Gershom is an Israelite. How is he an Israelite? Because of his father. Your father determines your nationality, not your mom. That's the mixed up thing there. You Jakes is, is mixing Christianity into the truth. Or you mixing bugged out doctrines that you follow from other guys that don't have the truth. And you're mixing it in with the truth. Stop doing that shit. You're going to be bugged out. Your mother does not determine your nationality. Your father does. This is Exodus 2 and 22. It says, and she bared him a son and called his name Gershom. Gershom was an Israelite. His mother was, his mother was a Hamite. But Gershom was an Israelite because his father was Moses. Moses was it was it was an Israelite, right? He was a, he was of the tribe of Levi, right? So Gershom was an Israelite. His mother was a heathen, but he was an Israelite. For for he said, "I have been a stranger in a strange land," right? Because Moses killed that Hamite in the land of Egypt, right? He killed that Hamite, and they tried to they tried to get him. They're going to kill him. Moses got out of the city of Egypt. And he was in a land. He was in a. He was in a. He was in a strange land, and he dwelled it there, right? And his father-in-law gave him his daughter. And his his wife was who? Zephra. Zephra was a was a was a Cushite. She was a Hamite. She wasn't an Israelite. So that cuts that. You had Gershom. Gershom mother is a heathen, but he's not a heathen though. So you mean to tell me because Gershom's mother is not an Israelite, you saying that he's a heathen? You going off according to the scriptures? Because again, Moses was an Israelite. His wife was not an Israelite. She was a heathen, but she bore him Gershom. So you mean to tell me that Gershom wasn't an Israelite because his mom was a heathen? Let's look at let's look at Joseph, the one that became governor of Egypt, the one that was sold into slavery, right? His woman was a Hamite. His woman was a Hamite. Let's prove that. This is Genesis 41 and 45. And actually, yeah, 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 I get this. This is Genesis 41 and 45. It says Pharaoh called Joseph's name Z Zanath 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 Pan Panania. If I'm saying it right, I can't read the rest of it. Salakia, and he gave him to wife uh, Azanath, the daughter of Pet Pet Petphora, right priest on, and Joseph went out over all the land of Egypt. See. Joseph's wife was a was it was a Hamite. She was an Egyptian. She was a Hamite. She was a Hamite. Right? She was a Hamite. And she what? Let's read the next verse. This is Genesis 46 and 20. So Joseph's wife was a Hamite. She was an Israelite. It says, And unto Joseph in the land of Egypt were born Manasseh and Ephraim. Right? Manasseh and Ephraim, their mother is a Hamite. But guess what? Joseph, Joseph's father, Jacob, who's Israel, who you say you're a Yasharalite, right? You say you're a Yasharalite. Guess what? Manasseh and Ephraim, their mother was a was a was a Hamite. So you mean to tell me that they weren't Israelites? And plus, when you read Genesis 48, which I'm going to get out, Joseph's father took Manasseh and Ephraim in and claimed them as his own sons. Those are his grandsons, but he claimed them as his own sons, which make up the 12 tribes of Israel. So if you saying that your mother has to determine that you're a full Israelite, then you mean to tell that you mean to tell me that Manasseh and Ephraim are not Israelites? Because wait a minute, when you go off of the chart, Ephraim and Manasseh are Israelite descent from Joseph, but their mother is a Hamite though, is a heathen. So you mean to tell me that they're not Israelites? So Gershom must not be an Israelite. Manasseh might not. Manasseh is not an Israelite. You're saying you saying Gershom's not an Israelite. Manasseh is not an Israelite. Ephraim is not an Israelite. In that case. So how did how did they make up the 12 tribes then? Because Manasseh and Ephraim, their mother is a Hamite. She's an Egyptian. That's a Hamite. That's an African, a so-called African. That's what an Egyptian is. It's a Hamite. You're going off. This is Genesis 46 and 20. And unto Joseph in the land of Egypt were born Manasseh and Ephraim. Manasseh and Ephraim make up the 12 tribes. They're of the 12 tribes. And their mother is not an Israelite. It says, which Azanath, the daughter of Pet of of, of Pot, Pot, Potipra Salakia, priest on bear onto him, bear it onto Joseph. She bared him Manasseh and Ephraim. Their mother's a Hamite though, but but they're Israelites because of their father. Right? And we can prove that Numbers 1 and 18. Numbers 1 and 18. And they assemble and they assemble all the congregation together. On the first day of the second month, 
and they declare their pedigrees. Now, when you go into the meaning of that word pedigrees there, right, it goes into what? Pedigree. It says, let's go straight to the point. The record ancestry, especially upper class ancestry of a person or family with a pedigree equal to many gentry. And when you go into their similarities, ancestry, ancestries, one family, it says one's family or ethnic descent, who you descend from, right? Who you descend from, descent, the origin or background of a person in terms of a family or nationality. That's what pedigrees mean. So your nationality is determined from where? Their pedigrees after the families by the by the house of their fathers. Your mother nationality does not de- your mother does not determine your nationality. Your father determines your nationality. Your mother can be a so-called white woman. If your father is a so-called Negro Spank named American Indian, you are an Israelite. You're an Israelite. It's in the scriptures. You're an Israelite. Your father's not your father's your father determines your nationality according to the Bible. This is why we can't go off of the outward appearance because you got Israelites that look like heathens out there. And this 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 always go over you fucking novices. You guys that first come into this thing six months, a month, two, three months, probably eight months to a year, you start fucking tripping out out here. You guys start tripping out because you start mixing doctrines. You start listening to this group, this group, this group, this group, this group, and you're not realizing in the scriptures that I'm reading out of the scriptures. You can't argue. None of you guys can argue me with this. I'm reading this out of the scriptures. So you're saying Joseph's sons are not Israelites. You're saying Moses' son is not an Israelite. You're saying, and I'm about to about to kill it all because when you go to Rehoboam, Rehoboam, which is the son of Solomon, King Solomon, house of David, right? The son of David. He had a woman that was an Ammonite, that was an Ammonitess. An Ammonite is what? A so-called Japanese person. So you mean to tell me that uh, Rehoboam is not an Israelite and he reigned as ruler for, for 17 years in Jerusalem? His mother was a, well, his mother was a, was a, was a, was a, uh, was a heathen. An Ammonite, an Ammonite, that's a heathen. That's not an Israelite. His, uh, uh, Rehoboam's mother was an Ammonitess. That's a heathen, a heathen woman. But he's still an Israelite because of his father. So you can't you can't go on an outward appearance, man. Y'all gotta stop throwing accusations at individuals. You gotta go by the spirit. The Lord discontinued us from our heritage. Read Jeremiah 17 and 4. The Lord discontinued us from our heritage. Read James 1 and 1. We're scattered throughout the world. Jake got the doctrine of just Israelites in America only. No, we're scattered throughout the whole fucking world, bro. You got Israelites. You got Jakes out there in Vietnam. You got Jakes out there in Japan. My dad lived in Japan for five years. Yeah, my dad was in the military. He lived in Japan for five years. So you mean to tell me there's no Jakes out there? You know? You got Jakes in Thailand, man. We're, they're everywhere. Not just in only in them. That's a problem with you, Jakes. You guys think small and you're not thinking big. So like it for the ramble. Let's get to it. Numbers 1 and 18. And they assemble all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees. We went into pedigrees. Lineage. Who you descend from. Right? Your nationality. It says after their families by the houses of their fathers. Your nationality is determined from the sea line of your father, not your mother. Your both parents does not have to be Israelites for you to be an Israelite. That's fucking dumb. Your father determines your nationality. Your father determines your nationality. That's in Numbers 1 and 18. It says, according, right? It says, it says, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the of the names, right? From 20 years old and upward by their poles. So your father determines your nationality. That's why the scriptures say, judge not an outward appearance. Right? Let's get another one. This is the one I was just talking about. When you read 1 Kings 14 and 21, Rehoboam's father was Solomon. Right? The son of David. He's the son of David. Solomon was, was the son of David. King David. Right? Rehoboam's mother was a heathen. She wasn't an Israelite. This is 1 Kings 14 21. And guess what? Rehoboam ruled in Jerusalem. He ruled in Jerusalem. Let's read this. This is 1 Kings 14 21. And Reuben, the son of Solomon, see, the son of Solomon, who, who is Solomon's father? King David. 
This is 1 Kings 14 and 21. And Rehoboam, the son of Solomon, reigned in Judah. Right? Rehoboam was 40 and 1 years old. He was 41 years old when he began to reign. Right? And he reigned 17 years in Jerusalem. He reigned as a ruler. A reign goes into ruler. He ruled in Jerusalem for 17 years. And listen to this. The city which, which the Lord did choose out of all the tribes of Israel. So out of all the tribes of Israel, the Lord chose him to reign in Jerusalem. And guess what? His mother was a heathen. His mother was a heathen. It says to put his name there. And his mother's name is not, 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 not Nama, so like a Nama, and uh, uh, Ammonitis. See, an Ammonitis. So his mother was a heathen. But he's an Israelite because his father was Solomon. But Rehoboam's mother was a heathen. She wasn't an Israelite. So, wait a minute. If Rehoboam's mother wasn't an Israelite, then you're saying that he's not an Israelite, right? But he reigned in Jerusalem for 17 years. This is in the Old Testament. Uh, 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 I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to stutter, right? Now you got the stuttering demon on your ass because you're going off. You're going off, right? Rehoboam reigned in Jerusalem for 17 years. And his mother was a heathen. She wasn't an Israelite. She was a heathen. An Ammonite is, 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 is Japanese. She was a Japanese woman. That's what they call Japanese today. An, 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 an Ammonite is, is, is a so-called Japanese person. If they were dwelling, they're dwelling on the earth today as the Japanese. But they actually call Ammonites. And she was a heathen. She was not an Israelite. She was a heathen. She was a heathen. Now, let's get to some other scriptures. Because what did, what did the Lord tell Samuel? What did the Lord spoke unto Samuel? He told Samuel this. But this goes over every single Jake out there that's not that's not following Great Millstone. You guys mix all these different doctrines up. This precept always go over your head like a wave cap, like a stocking cap, like a do-rag cap. It always go over your head because you don't study from the men of the Lord. You follow all these damn groups and you become bugged out. You start getting mixed into B1A, A1, B1A. You start getting bugged out. You start mixing doctrines. Stop doing that shit. 1 Samuel 16 and 7. But the Lord said unto Samuel, Look not on his countenance. So you can't point and say, oh, he's not an Israelite. He a heathen. You can't do that shit. You cannot do that dumbass shit. Excuse my French, but you cannot do that stuff, man. 1 Samuel 16, 7. But the Lord said unto Samuel, look not on his countenance. So you can't judge on the outward appearance. Oh, he's a heathen because he looked like this. He's a heathen because he looked like that. You're a heathen because you can't look on the outward appearance. Or on his height or his stature. Oh, he's too tall to be an Israelite. He's too buff and bulky. He's too bony and skinny. He has freckles. He has blonde hair, blue eyes. He's a heathen. You can't do that. Right? It says, but I have refused him for the Lord seeth not as man seeth. For men looketh on the outward appearance. You can't do that. Oh, he's a heathen. He's not an Israelite. He's a heathen because he looked like an Arab. Or he's a heathen because he look like this. He like that. You cannot do that. That's why the scriptures, the Lord say, the spirit bear witness. Now, we bringing out stuff through the spirit, through the scriptures, and you a Jake that can't get it, or you a person that's prideful, we always ask a person what's their nationality before we even start going into the scriptures. So then when we know we're going through the scriptures, if if, if, the, if the scriptures uh, line with their spirit, they're a Jake because the, 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 the spirit bear witness. You can't look on the outward appearance. It says, but the Lord looketh on the heart. The Lord looketh on the spirit. And you Jake's out there, he's a heathen. He's a, he's a heathen. He's not an Israelite. Your parent got to be an Israelite and your father. You're bugged out. That's, that's, that's off, bro. Because, again, I just read about, I just read about um, Joseph. I just read about Moses. I just read about uh, uh, Rehoboam, right? The son of Solomon. All their parents, all their mothers was, was heathens. They were not Israelites. So you are teaching false doctrine. Yeah, you're you're teaching false doctrine, man. Yeah, D Damian Logan. Your ass is teaching false doctrine, man. You going off with that by way of both parents. Your ass is going off with that, bro. Because I just read scriptures right here. Ephraim and Manasseh's mother was an Egyptian. That's a Hamite. Um, Gershom's, Gersh, Gershom's mother was a Hamite. Gush, that's a Hamite. Rehoboam's, mo Rehoboam's mother was an Ammonitis. That was, that's a heathen. 
An Ammonite is a heathen. That's a heathen. His mother was a heathen. She wasn't an Israelite. Now, let's get to the main point. Because he said that uh, by both parents, you have that's the only way you can be an Israelite. So, okay. So, my question is to you. Ephraim and Manasseh is part of the 12 tribes of Israel. So, you mean to tell me they're not Israelites? Because they make up the 12 tribes of Israel. And how did they make up the 12 tribes of Israel? Let's read. Genesis 48 and 1. This is when Joseph brought his sons to uh, Jacob, which is Israel. Right? Genesis 48 and 1. And it came to pass after these things that one told Joseph, Behold, thy father is sick. And he took with him his two sons, right? Ephraim and Manasseh, right? Ephraim and Manasseh. Let's go back in history and read that about Joseph, right? About his wife, right? His wife, his wife was Az Azana, right? Az Az Azana. Genesis 46 and 20. And on to Joseph in the land of Egypt were born Manasseh and Ephraim, which Azana, the daughter of Petra, priest, it says priest of on the bear unto him. Right? So Azan Azan Az Azina, if I'm saying it right, Azana, Azina, she was a Hamite. She was not an Israelite. So wait a minute. If his son's mother was not an Israelite, what does that mean? They still Israel. Numbers 1 and 18. And it came to pass after these things that one told Joseph, Behold, thy father is sick. And he took with him his two sons, Ephraim and Manasseh. And one told Jacob and said, Behold, thy son Joseph come unto thee. And Israel strengthened himself and sat upon the bed. Talking about Jacob because Jacob's name was changed to Israel. Verse 3. And Jacob said unto Joseph, uh, Yahweh Almighty appeared unto me at Luz in the land of Canaan and blessed me and said unto me, Behold, I will make thee fruitful and multiply thee and I will make of thee a multitude of people and will give this land to thy seed after thee for an everlasting possession. And now thy two sons, Ephraim and Manasseh, remember Ephraim and Manasseh, their mother was a Hamite, but they still Israelites because of their father. Your father determines your nationality. But this is what Joseph did. I mean, not Joseph, uh, Jacob did, right? It says, and now thy two sons, Ephraim and Manasseh, which were born unto thee in the land of Egypt, before I came unto thee, before I came unto thee in, into Egypt, are mine. So he took um, Ephraim and Manasseh, Joseph's sons, and claimed them as his own, which they already are Israelites, due to Numbers 1 and 18. Are mine, as Reuben and Simeon, they are shall be mine so he took joseph's sons and claimed them as his own which makes up the 12 tribes so by you saying that uh your mother has to be an israelite you're going off because ephraim and manasseh's mother was a hamite she was not an israelite so you mean to tell me they weren't israelite but wait a minute joseph not joseph like you jacob claimed joseph's sons as his own making them up as the 12 tribes which consists of the 12 tribes so you just got ripped up with the scriptures, man. Again, you have to know who to follow. If you're following all these different Israelite groups, you're going to be bugged out out here. Your mother does not turn, determine your nationality. I said it before and I say it again. Your mother does not determine your nationality. Your father determines your nationality. Numbers 1 and 18, and they assemble all the congregation together on the first day of the second month, and they declared their pedigrees. Pedigrees goes into lineage, who you descend from, right? Pedigrees after their fathers. So your, your nationality is determined from the seed line of your father, not your mother. It doesn't matter about your mother. Your father determines your nationality by the house of their fathers, according to the number of their of, of the name from 20 years old and upward by their poles so your nationality is determined from the sea line of your father it doesn't matter about your mother are you at least so-called black we're not black we're different shades of brown you guys are bugged out with that black shit black means wicked we're not black all right we're different shades of brown by way of both parents you're off we read scriptures on that. Gershom's mother was a Cushite, but his father was an Israelite. Ephraim and Manasseh, their father was an Israelite. Their mother was a, was a Hamite, right? 
Same thing with Gershom. His mother was a Hamite. Rehoboam, his mother was a, was an Ammonitess, which was a heathen, which is a so-called Japanese person, a heathen. But his father was Solomon, who was an Israelite. So you have prophets in the scriptures that had wives of the other nations. They slept with them and had kids with them. It's in the scriptures. Father Abraham, he, he had a kid, he had a child with a heathen woman, right? Hagar was a Hamite. She was an Egyptian. Read the scriptures. You will understand this. Your mother, listen closely. Your mother does not determine your nationality. Your father does. Your father determines your nationality, not your mother. So can we at least discuss it before you go up, go against a fellow Yasharalite? You're overrighteous. Because again, you got Israelites out there that popped heathen women and had kids with them. Just like in the scriptures we brought out. Joseph's wife was a Hamite. Moses' wife was a Hamite. She was a Cushite. She was a Hamite. It says, so we can at least discuss it before you go, uh, go against a fellow Yasharalite over a potential heathen. How should I say that's not a heathen? He a Gadite, just like me. I had the same thing. My my mother is a my mother is is from Liberia, Africa. I said that many times. My mother's from Liberia, Africa, but she's an Israelite. She's from the southern west coast of Africa. She believes in Yahweh Bashi Mashai. She calls on the name, all of that. She follows the other Pasquale Millstone. She has her Bible. She does all that. My mom is in the truth. My mom, she's from Liberia, Africa. My father is a so called Native American Indian. He's Omaha Punka. I'm a Gadite. My parents are not the same nationality. My mother has a green card and all of that. But I'm an Israelite due to the sea line of my father. My father is an is a, is a Israelite of the northern kingdom. I'm a Gadite, according to the scriptures. So, again, my mother does not determine my nationality. My father does. Your father determines your nationality. So, you guys out there with these bugged out ass doctrines, you got to get out of that shit. It's going to cause you to be destroyed. It's going to cause you to be destroyed. You, again, your mother does not determine your nationality. Your father does. We proved it in the scriptures. You had prophets of the Old Testament that popped heathen women and had kids with them. It's in the scriptures, man. It's in the scriptures. So this dude right here, you ought to avoid this guy. This guy is bugged out. Any dude that's teaching the same doctrine as this individual, Damon Logan, is fucking bugged out. And you're going to be destroyed if you don't repent because the direction that you're headed in is the wrong path. You're in the wrong path, man. That You, you coming at with the... He's pretty much coming here that Israelites are only Negro descent doctrine. Your mother and your father both got to be Israelites for you to be Israel. That's bugged out. So you mean to tell me that all the prophets in the Old Testament, they're not Israelites. You saying, you saying Moses' son is not an Israelite. You saying Manasseh and Ephraim are not Israelites. And you saying that Rehoboam ain't Israelite. But wait a minute, Rehoboam reigned in Jerusalem. And the southern kingdom, Rehoboam uh, reigned in Jerusalem. His mother was a heathen. He reigned in Jerusalem for 17 years. Break that down to me. His mother was a heathen, but his father was an Israelite. Rehoboam. Yeah, he reigned in Jerusalem for, for 17 years straight. And the Lord chose him out of all the Israelites. He chose him out of all the tribes. He chose Rehoboam to reign in Jerusalem. And wait, wait a minute. Rehoboam's mother is a heathen. So you guys got to fucking listen, man. You guys got to get that shit right, man. Salakia. All right, Lord, one is lesson. Is that a fine? I want to give all honors and glories and praise to you. Hawabashi, Mashai, Bashim, Kakudash. Giving double honors to the elders of Apostle Great Millstone, who will well teach well, because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemashai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the awful elect. And shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh Yahweh Shai camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And Lord willing, is that's edifying. Uh, till next time I say shalom. But yeah, shout out to brother uh, Kassad and big bro Yahweh Shai Zion. I had to do this lesson because this, this vexed me. I was out on the plantation when he said this. This shit vexed me, man. These individuals block these individuals. Stay away from these individuals, brothers and sisters, because these guys, these guys is fucking bugged out. Shalom.